Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to show you a new feature of Error 2.0 called File Promises. File Promises let users drag and drop files that don't exist yet, or put another way, um, File Promises let developers put files on the clipboard that they don't actually have references to yet. So use cases for this would be files that are on a remote server, um, FTP servers, or files that uh, don't exist yet because the developer wants to generate them on demand, or something like that. To demonstrate this feature, I have this application I wrote called S3E. I wrote this early on in the Air 1.0 days, and it's a graf graphical user interface on top of Amazon's S3 service. And you can see that you can uh, you can browse your buckets and your objects and manage them in different ways and sort in different ways and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is select some files here, and I'm just going to drag them onto my desktop. And you can see these progress bars pop up while the files are being downloaded and here they are. They were downloaded to the file system. So the way this works is we have a new class called iFilePromise, which is an interface. Developers can implement that interface and provide any kind of implementation they want. So they can provide you know, an implementation that uses FTP, that um, generates a file on demand, whatever they want. We also have an, uh, an implementation of iFilePromise called um, URL file promise, and URL file promise works um, by taking a URL request and grabbing a file um, that's accessible via a URL, because we figured that's going to be the most common case, so we decided to provide an implementation that covers the most common case. And that's what I'm using here. Um, these files are available on S3. What I do is generate um, a temporary public URL that's only good for um, a few seconds and um, make a URL file promise, or sorry, make a URL request, give it to a URL file promise, and the file is automatically downloaded. Um, now, these progress bars that you see, this you actually don't get for free. This is something that you have to program yourself, um, but it's actually very easy. You can register for progress events on the um, URL file promise, and these um, this progress bar here is just your typical flex progress bar, which I'm hooking into um, and using a little native window magic around it to make it pop up and position and stuff like that. But uh, it's fairly easy to do. This application S3E uh, is on Google code. It has all the, um, it's completely open source. It has all the new file promise code in it. So you can download it and uh, see how it works. The URL is in this blog post. Also the library that, um, that uh, the S3 library uh, is also open source. It's a, it's a separate project on Google Code, so you can download that and check it out as well if you want to write your uh, your own application around uh, Amazon S3. Thank you very much.